Hey, hello, welcome back to another video. Um, today, in my decidedly low rent production from the kitchen, um, I have purchased some Lee and Lee P28. Um, what are these? P28. Oh, just Unifan P28s. That's what they're called. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can. Me and my incredible recording skills here. Uh, let's see. P28 fan. Okay. So I bought these from Micro Center. Um, and I was looking at them. And they seem really nice. Like, um, take one out of the bubble wrap here. <clears throat> so, they look like that on the front side. I don't know if you can see that. It's almost got like a little gold um, inlay there or something on the sticker, which interesting oh no it's the actual like the stickers over the top of the uh, the like copper or whatever hub there that they got brass maybe uh, whatever um, but it's a white I, I got the white fan um, I'm gonna put these in the uh, fractal design uh, defined 7 compact I've got and I was planning on transplanting my system over there um, there's kind of a part of me that wants to build new not gonna lie but uh, I'm not sure <laughs> um, not sure what I'm gonna do just yet um, but at any rate these fans ideally I'm gonna plant these into this into that case so the reason why I went out and I spent like 75 bucks on these fans here's the uh, Here's the other side. So <clears throat> they are 28 millimeters thick. You can see here they got silver on the sides, which I think is pretty cool. But they are they are 28 mil thick. I don't know if you guys can see that, maybe if I go really close. Yep, there you go. 28 mil thick, and they uh, have a lot of static pressure. And what I'm hoping is that even though the front panel of this Define 7 Compact is pretty much cut off. You've got the slats on either side, and the slats are like, uh, I don't think the picture here really does it full justice. They are, <clears throat> there you go. They're, they present a decent amount of space but you can tell that's pretty restrictive. Um, so I'm thinking, or I'm hoping, <clears throat> that these fans, because they're very robust and they have a lot of static pressure, will be able to help compensate for this 60%, 70%, maybe more like choke off here, um, because there'll be three of them. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we'll still be able to get some uh, decent airflow into the case. Hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. Um, I don't know if that's going to shake out that way. So we will have to see. But these seem like really good fans. Um, and I was just going to show. So these are uni fans. And uh, to those who are unfamiliar, the reason why they're called uni fans, and Lee and Lee pioneered this. Um, and now a lot of other manufacturers are starting to do the same thing um, with magnets and various, various other ways. But what they did is they basically said, well, people are buying and putting multiple fans together a lot. You know, they're taking two 120s, two 140s, three 120s, put them together to put on your radiator or mount in the front of your case, whatever the case may, whatever the, the deal is. So the, the fans have these uh, cutouts on, like this is one side, and then this is the other, I think, hold on, no, sorry, this would be the other, like so, and they slot in, and basically what happens is, so if you slot them in, uh, like so, like that, bam, now they're together, and they transfer power, and basically you can install them together onto like say a radiator or your case 
um, as one unit. Way easier to deal with. Plus, the other benefit is um, they only get one cable <laughs> coming out of them for power. So you can run three fans, in some cases four fans, uh, with Lee and Lee's, the way they have it set up, off of one fan power cable. And that's really good. Like that keeps your cable mess down in your, in your case. Um, it makes it easier to understand where you want to route things. Um, <clears throat> if your motherboard doesn't have a lot of fan headers, that can be a, an, also an advantage because you can run three fans off of one header. So that's beneficial. Um, there are a number of things and reasons why you might want to do that. But I'll tell you what, these fans, these, uh, um, I saw these and was like, you know, I'm going to probably give these a shot. Man, these things, they're pretty stout feeling. They're actually... They have some heft to them, so I'm kind of wondering if they're, uh, they feel like they're really well built, just honestly. So, and, and I think they will look really good with this silver inlay on the side, when this case has got like some silver accent on it as well. So I think it will look nice. I think it will. I do wish that this case had, uh some venting in the front <laughs> other than just these sides here like that would be that would have been ideal which is one of the reasons why I got it and I was like I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with it I held on to it for a while and I decided not to um, I got the mesh and the mesh has been good but I think with these better fans I can get away with using this case which has more IO uh, it's a little bit more compact I'll save some room on my desk um, I think it'll look really good. There's a part of me that wants to literally just build an entire new system out of this almost. Like use that case, but then get a bigger power supply, get a new GPU, a new motherboard and CPU memory, um, and go about it that way. However, you know, I dropped maybe 140 bucks, I think. Um, on just you know getting the fans I got some thermal paste I had to get some batteries um, I got some uh, memory I don't think I'm going to because I think what I'm gonna do is wait I'm gonna wait for the 14th gen Intel stuff to come out um, maybe even I'm gonna wait until the next Ryzen comes out which is supposed to be next year first or second quarter I think that's probably when I'll target to upgrade um, I don't really feel like the 5800X has any problems doing what I need it to do today. And when I do upgrade, I'm thinking I'm going to keep this whole system together and just uh, sell it as a unit, um, is what I'm thinking. I I'm, I'm going to try to like keep from having to part it out. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So we'll see. Um, but like, yeah, I think this would be pretty cool. If I was going to put a video card in this case, with this fan setup and stuff, like if I had my choice, I'd probably grab the this one. Because <laughs> I think that would look very matching, because it's got the silver, you know? Um, and I think that would be pretty cool. But it's super expensive. Super duper expensive. So, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Don't know if I'm going to do that. Uh, I may change my mind and decide, ah, oh, what the hell, you know, the the in, the the AMD socket, the AM5 socket is going to be around for a while, um, so maybe to heck with it, and, you know, I can, I can drop on a decent motherboard that would kind of go along with the theme and grab this video card and, and upgrade everything. I just don't know if I want to do that. Uh, I just don't know if that's going to be worth it. So still in the, in the decision-making process of what I want to do, you know, maybe I want two computers run, uh, run some VMs or something. I don't know, but let me put all three of these together. Let's see here. Uh, really seem like quality fans. I'll tell you just handling them. They, they have some heft, them 
and that's usually a pretty good sign when you're dealing with something like this that they they're not crap <laughs> I guess is the way to put it okay so if I put this guy on here There we go. Okay, so this is like all three, right? All three fans, all together. And then if I want to run them off of a cable, uh, let's see, how do we do that? Oh, is that what it does? So I think what happens here is, if you see that, that's kind of the spot to put your cable in, and then this cable will go in there, and then this is the motherboard header. So let's plug this in. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no, that's right. Pretty sure. Huh, cool. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> that's all you need. Boom. It's not a... It's not a super long cable. Uh, I think it's long enough, like you can make it work. So this is going to be intake. So it'll be kind of like this, and then this will go... Now, the camera makes that a little bit backwards, right? So, trust me, like this will go motherboard side, behind the motherboard tray, probably up in the case, and then you can loop it around out into uh, the fan header on your motherboard. Um, I don't know, is that, these fans are a little bit, uh, they may take a little bit more juice. I wonder if that would be okay. Or if it would be a better idea if this goes into a controller. Hmm. I don't know. Not sure. Well, so the current uh, the current plan is um, this case has a um, as you can see three fans in the front. You can fit a 240 AIO in the top, which is what I currently use. Is a it's a cheapy ID cooling, whatever. I've got the two RGB fans with it still though. So I'm kind of wondering if I don't mount those in there and then leave the back fan as is. And then uh, that's it, right? Um, I gotta go check if I've still got like a controller for this unit in the box. Not, I don't have this uh, specific one. Uh, there you go, it's more like, that might even be the exact one I've got. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's the one I've got. As a matter of fact, um, so I have to see if, uh, like, so obviously it fits, right? Um, I have to see if I've got the controller or any plugs in here for this. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I think that would look pretty good. Um, with those three fans, you barely be able to see from the side the the little silver uh, strip on the sides <clears throat> which looks sort of like off the camera can kind of like that yeah I think that would go pretty nicely so that was the plan anyway um, like I said there's a part of me that wants to just put all new stuff in here but I don't think I'm gonna do it I just think I need to wait uh, until some more media upgrades emerge um, yeah I think so I think that'll look really cool though and it'd be a little project um, I'm going to attempt to maybe film it so that way people can kind of go along for the ride of uh, putting a machine into a new case <clears throat> what 
we can learn together how this is going to work or look, we can find out if these fans can at least partially overcome the fact that this is not a mesh front panel, it is a solid front panel with some slats in the side. We can see if it helps with that. So, anyway, guys, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Uh, I have wasted 15 minutes of your time. <laughs> uh, but anyway, stay tuned. Um, so far, <clears throat> just from handling these fans, not having plugged them in, I can tell you they feel hefty and <clears throat> they, they look very good. They look very quality, which is something that I really like about Lean Lee's fans and cases lately is they just have a really, you know, when you actually buy one of their um, things, they have a very nice quality feel about them. Um, they are 28 millimeter thick, so they're going to have some pretty decent static pressure, and I think they ramp up a little higher in speed than the um, RGB fans of these. Um, so yeah, you know, we'll uh, we'll see what happens in a future a future video. I don't know exactly when I'm going to do this. I just started a new job, so it's going to be a little touch and go. Um, but stay tuned, and you know, maybe um, if I get the ability, I'll even do like kind of a little mini. Bart review. It would be like the first one of me reviewing something. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, um, having said that, uh, what you get in the box are the fans. You get, I guess I should show you that, right? You get three. So I'm pull this guy out of here. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> you get three of these cables, right? One, two, three. And these are the cables that you can plug directly in with the the white header and then the black header, which this is pretty cool they thought of the color with this, right? This could have very well been black on white and nobody would have batted an eye that much, but they thought of that for you. But the <clears throat> motherboard header is black and that's pretty slick too because a lot of the motherboard headers are in fact black. So this is not that big a deal. Um, that probably is. If you saw that on the end of the fan, it would be uh, black. It might not be great. Uh, it, the cables are sleeved very nicely. Um, it does also come with this, which I think what this is, is like, if you don't have any way to control them, um, you can plug them into this, and then that'll do two things. It'll extend, because this actually unfolds here, and you can extend it, right? Uh, like... This will go here, like that, and then it would extend it way out, right? So now you've got like all this cable, and then this even is a little bit more that's bundled up. So you could go a really long way with that, so that's one thing. And then the other thing is it also has a speed controller on this, a very elementary one, but it's a little button there. I'm assuming that's like low, medium, high, um, which you could uh, use to control how much RPMs, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, you're getting there. <clears throat> really cool. Um, really, uh, really digging it. Um, fans have just come a really long way uh, when you buy a high end fan. High end fan. Fan. Um, let's see. All right. So, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to box these back up, I think. Um, What else? Um, I think that's it. I'm trying to think. The instructions look pretty straightforward. Yeah, they are. Not super big, like a whole, not a whole lot of detail there. But they are at least pretty straightforward. I mean, I think you can figure out how to, you know, the when you see this, you know that this is supposed to connect to this. <laughs> so it's this connects to this. So when you put them together, you make sure that these two things go together. That's how you do that. You do it right. Bam. Just like that. 
So, <clears throat> it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, I would love to see how these do on a radiator. I bet they would really kick butt on a radiator, for sure, um, with that static pressure. So, um, yeah, that's it. I think I've gotten 20 minutes of your time. Um, hopefully that was a little bit uh, helpful. Make uh, One thing I would say is because they are 28 millimeters thick, make sure you put them in a spot in the case that can handle them. Um, some cases, like they, where a front panel or something comes on, they only allow 25 millimeter. So just be aware of that. 28 millimeter should sneak in there, um, but a 30 millimeter probably would not. Um, and a 28 millimeter is really pushing it on some of those. It's not on this one because the front panel, <clears throat> the fans are actually inside the case, not the front panel. So I think they're going to fit just fine. Like they actually protrude into the case. So I don't think, I don't think there's going to be any uh, any issue there. I think they will. I wonder if I can. Yeah, here you go. So that's a good good view. So they actually penetrate into the uh, penetrate. They actually protrude into the case, versus being on the outside here and in there. And that's also good because that gives them a little bit of room to breathe to try and pull air through these side vents. Um. So yeah, like here's hoping. You know, um, they're not RGB fans, so they're not going to light up here. I'm not going to have RGB fan here. The RGB will be up in the top on that radiator. Um, and yeah, we're just going to see how this goes. You know, hopefully, uh, hopefully it does all right. And like I said, just be on the lookout in the future for a video talking about it. So uh, maybe, like I said, even. A bot review that would be crazy guys listen i really appreciate you listening to me ramble um, about these fans that just oh these feel fancy and new i <laughs> appreciate it um if you have any quotes or comments then let me know um insults or whatever i'll take whatever uh <laughs> maybe leave a like and subscribe um take care and have a great day